We'll go to Rebecca next um, uh, because uh, she is a resident of Forsyth. I said that right? Forsyth. 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 <laughs> Forsyth County. Um, she voted in the uh, June 2020 primary and the 2020 presidential election and the January 20. You guys had a lot of election. January yeah. 2021 Senate runoffs mm -hmm. by mail. Uh, because of the pandemic. So maybe you want to tell your story. It's a little mm. different. Well, <clears throat> thank you for having me. Um, my name is Rebecca Thompson. I've lived in Georgia my whole life. I've been a resident of Forsyth County for the last two years. I voted absentee in the primary and general. I didn't want to vote in person, mostly because of COVID. But I also wanted the opportunity to study the ballot. The last time I voted in person, I created a voter guide on my phone to take to the poll, only to find phones weren't allowed in the booth. I have difficulty comprehending written information, so having the ballot at home gave me time and space to understand the ballot measures, which seems to be written to be confusing, but maybe it's just me. It's not. <laughs> Another more personal reason for voting absentee was the fear for my safety. At the time, I had lived in Forsyth County for less than a year. It wasn't uncommon to see Confederate flags perched in front of homes and businesses and on the back of pickup, pickup trucks. As a queer person, I wasn't going to needlessly put my health and safety in jeopardy by voting in person, knowing long lines at the polls were likely in 2020. I wanted another means of having my vote cast. Because as a member of the LGBTQ community, the longer I'm in an unwelcoming, even hostile space, the greater chance of something bad happening to me. For my absentee ballot application, I had a couple hurdles. For the primary election, my electronic application was rejected because there were problems with my signature. It was frustrating because I didn't have a printer to fill out the application by hand. And at the time, I didn't know how to get my signature in a PDF. Also, during that time, the mail was running really slow, and I was worried I wouldn't receive my ballot in time. Luckily, a couple weeks later, the Secretary of State's office mailed me an application, and I was able to try again. For the other election, I don't remember getting an application in the mail, so I had to figure out how to get my signature in a PDF this time. Since my signature was rejected before, I practiced writing it out, making sure it matched my driver's license. Then I was able to take a photo of my signature and after some Googling, dropped my signature in the PDF application. When I was ready to return my ballot, I felt more comfortable taking it to a drop box rather than putting it in the mail. The drop box I went to was outside the county registrar's office and available 24 seven. But after SB 202 passed by the Georgia legislator in 2021, Forsyth County will only be allowed to have one drop box for its 150,000 residents. I vote because this is a democracy, and it's important that everyone participate and have their voices heard. It's important to have a societal di dialogue through voting, to have politicians hear our voice and know they work for us. Uh, very good. Thank you so much, Rebecca.